10,000, all in. 10,000 to you. I'm forced to see you. I guess I win. Full house, aces high. I guess you lose, Mr. Vaughn. Wilson. Wait a minute, Burns. Come on. You know the house rules, Mr. Vaughn. We explain them very carefully. One with real bullets, and the other one with blanks. The odds are absolutely even. We spin the table, and when it stops, you pick up the gun nearest you and fire. One more time, please. I'm sorry, monsieur. The house limit is... One more time. Very well, monsieur. Fais vous jouer, mesdames, monsieur. Fais vous jouer. Je suis en fait. Et on n'a pas plus. Et 
Gloss out, ooh, John. Did it, Pop. Yeah, yeah. Can't win them all. You like to gamble? Well, it's my um, hobby and my business. And your pleasure? Sometimes. You gamble well because you know how to lose. Mm. I learned the hard way. I too like to gamble. There are many games of chance, many venues. Here, the Riviera, my room. You certainly have the advantage. You have a stacked deck. I like you, Mr. Uh, Valance. My friends call me Eddie. Eddie? Yes. Yes, I like you. Good. You fit well into the ambiance of my room. I don't remember saying yes to that. I bet you. That's the second time I've lost tonight. Do fix me a drink, please. Vodka martini, very dry. Vodka martini, very dry, coming up. You know, it's a good thing I didn't pick up that big bundle tonight. Why? Oh, when a winner gets invited to a lady's room, he's liable to end up minus his wallet. If you would have won, you would have refused me? You're catching on. Ha. I bet you wouldn't. I wish you... I wish you wouldn't keep betting on sure things. It erodes my confidence. Very, very dry. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I could say your health, cheers, or sante. But I think the traditional gambler's toast. Luck. Luck. Why me? You're handsome. <laughs> Come on now, I'm not gonna buy that. You're right. If you were the ugliest man in the world, it wouldn't have mattered. Because you are a gambler, a good gambler. And that excites me. But luckily, you are not the ugliest man in the world. Some of them are. Some of them. Mm. You uh, haven't touched a drink. Of course not. Uh. The bottle was drunk. <laughs> they all not. Oh.
morning, sir. Good morning. It's a jug of ice water. Right away. Right. Mr. Burns won't leave the car until after lunch, so it's all right if you start the service on it. Good morning, sir. And don't forget that the day after tomorrow, he'll probably have the Forsters over. Probably want you to pick them up. Right. Slept well. Slept. Oh. The pool is perfect this morning. Just right. Nice sharp edge to the temperature. Now wait a minute. Oh. See you for lunch. Good morning, sir. Not too pleasant a day, is it? However, the forecast is sun. Work to go wherever you want in the ground, sir. Um, the pool's at the back if you care for a swim. I can get you some trunks if you want. Pool, did you say? Look, where am I? It's Mr. Burns' residence, sir. Listen, I was drugged. I was you brought... You certainly slept very soundly, sir. Burns? Walter Burns. Mm. Well, you tell Mr. Burns thanks, but no thanks, huh? Stroll wherever you want in the ground, sir, but not outside. Who says? Mr. Burns, sir. Who is Mr. Burns? Probably one of the ten richest men in the world, sir. No. Five richest. You mean I can walk around the grounds but not leave them, right? That's correct, sir. Is that a road over there? Yes, sir. So if I take off, I can be out of here in a couple of minutes. I wouldn't bet on it, sir. Although I am a gambling man myself, if you care to have a flutter, I'll give you ten to one against. Who's going to stop me, you? No, sir. He is. Good morning, sir. He won't kill you, of course, sir. Probably a leg wound, just enough to disable you. We're not allowed to kill you, sir. I don't know if the colour is to your liking, sir, but it should certainly fit perfectly. Yes, well, what you're wearing is correct, of course, for the evening games. But I thought you might like something more casual during the day. If you care to give me your jacket later, sir, I'll refurbish it for you. Who are you? My name is Winters, sir. Winters, how did I get here? I think we both know that, sir. All right, then why? You are an honoured guest of Mr. Burns, sir. I never met anyone called Burns. But you will, sir. You can bet on it. And I'm not a guest around here. I'm a prisoner. You will have the whole run of the house and ground, sir. But not outside the grounds. You'll find it very pleasant here, sir. Everything you may want. No need to go outside. When do I get to meet Burns? Hmm? I am going to meet him eventually. It's on the cards, yes. What kind of a man is he, anyway? He's a gambling man, sir. How long have you worked for him? I don't work for him, sir. Not exactly. I was a gambling man myself once. And? Came across Mr. Burns, and he won me. He... Come on, we'll be late for lunch. call you Eddie, do you? If you prefer Mr. Valens, then Mr. Valens it shall be. But I think Eddie's much friendlier, don't you? Huh? 
<laughs> now, you can call me Wally if you want, or Mr. Burns. But most around here refer to me as Daddy. Nice, solid sound to it. <laughs> I'm glad you could come, Eddie. Did I have an option? Huh. The drug drink? Mm. Just a little bit of gamesmanship, Eddie. <laughs> That's the way to win, isn't it? Establish an ascendancy and hold on to it. Now, you're not going to hold any hard feelings about that, are you? No, of course not. But I do resent your marksman waiting to shoot holes in my legs. <laughs> He'll see you were right. She's always right, infallible. You and me are going to get along fine, Eddie. Oh, sit down. Come on, sit down, sit down. It's avocado and cold lobster. But if there's anything different you want, all you have to do is ask. You want a drink, Eddie? <laughs> From a bottle with an unbroken seal? Vodka on the rocks. Ah, that's it, Eddie. Don't drink myself, please, ways not before a game. Got to keep the brain cells clear. <laughs> uh, you like to roll some dice before we eat? No, thanks. Mm. Well, later. Then I thought uh, maybe a little backgammon. You do play backgammon, don't you? Some, yes. Mm. Ilsa tells me you have a cool nerve at the roulette table. Is that your main game? No. Mm. A card man? Poker. Stud or draw? Stud. <laughs> you have surpassed yourself, my dear Ilsa. Stud's my game, Eddie. My favorite game. I'm the best stud player in the world. I doubt that, Mr. Burns. You thinking of Tommy Vaughan? I was thinking of me. Huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> We'll have to put that to the test, Eddie. Yeah, we will. But later. First, I thought a little dice. Then maybe some uh, backgammon or shammy. I like to build to the real thing. Anticipate the big game. Maybe there won't be any big game. Maybe there won't be any game at all. You went to a lot of trouble to get me out here. Why not just send me an invitation? We weren't sure you'd come. We wanted you to come, Eddie. Henry got himself a rabbit. Overrun with him. We'll set the stakes at a hundred as a starter, until you can feel your way. That's where you made your first mistake. Picking me up the way you did, I don't have much cash on me. Well, it doesn't matter. My method of inviting you here was unconventional, I'll agree. But I'm prepared to pay for the pleasure of playing against you, Eddie. Payment in advance. That'll be your stake money. Must be thirty or forty thousand dollars there. Fifty thousand. I prefer to play with American dollars. I always feel that, as Italian is to opera, the dollar is to gambling, an international language. Mm. 50,000, huh? Don't worry. I'll bet you I'll win it all back from you. And he's never lost a bet yet. No more bets. 25 red. Not running for you, Eddie? It isn't my money. This can't mean anything to you, winning your own money back. It was your money. I paid you, remember? No more bets. Anyway, the intrinsic fact of money is not so vital. Just winning. 22 black. Daddy. Hmm? Yeah, I guess you're right. It's late. Must all be tired. Besides, I don't want to clean you out right away. Spoil tomorrow's games. Oh, come on, Burns. Be a sport. One more time. 5,000. You didn't formally close the game down, did you?
26 black. You're right, it is getting late. You can't win them all, Mr. Burns. But make sure you win the last one. Good night. Daddy, don't be so foolish. He's just the opposition we've been looking for. You were the rabbit. I, uh, I heard the shot. Tried to make a run for it, huh, Winters? You chose the wrong time. Night's the best time when there are plenty of shadows. And the dogs. Dogs? What dogs? <laughs> Give them a pincer, sir. Train to kill. Nobody. Not even Mr. Mr. Burns would go out there at night. I don't blame him. There are other ways. I'll bet you... Yeah, I know. I know. You'll bet I don't make it. Getting out of here isn't like a hand of cards, Winters. Chance operates there, the unknown. Here it's a game of skill. A little luck comes into it, maybe, but mostly it's planning and knowing the hazards and how to beat them. Take me with you, sir. I know there is to know about this place. Yeah, I'm sure. I'll, uh, I'll let you know, huh? Thank you, sir. Good night, sir. Good night. Good night, madam. Well, I'm uh, not exactly dressed for receiving tonight. Oh, but you are. I thought you liked big gamblers. Winners, only winners. Oh. And the biggest winner around here is Daddy Burns. Mm. So far. That's right. Absolutely right. Good night. Sleep well. Sleep well. Swim this pool five or six times underwater? I bet you. Yeah? What do you want to bet? Something nice. Hmm. Promises, promises. stay underwater. I don't know. Uh, a couple of minutes, I guess. Suppose there was 10,000 riding on it. Well, that might increase my lung power, yes. Tell you. Purcell here, he doesn't have your physique. But I'll bet you that 10,000 he could stay under longer. OK. All right. You stay that side, Eddie. Mr. Burns, I don't think Trust I... Trust me. Trust me. But Mr. Burns, I can't... Thank you. 
told you he's the winner. Well, I guess that little win at the pool makes us even again, eh? You took me on the wheel last night. I took you at the pool. We're even. Not quite. I scored. You scored? Mm. What do you mean? I mean I want some valuable information about you. Always check out the house rules first. Rules. Just part of the game. It's luck that counts. To amateurs, yeah. Huh? Well, you gamble for fun with me. It's a business. I don't disbelieve in luck, but I don't rely on it. What do you rely on? My own skill, knowledge of my opponent, observation. <laughs> observation. I'll tell you what, Mr. Burns. I will bet you $10,000 that you don't know what kind of shoes you're wearing. Come on now, you're the big gambler. Ten grand, what kind of shoes? Suede polo boots. No, wrong. Brown leather lace-up with a wedged heel. I just want my ten grand back. Hey, wait a minute. These are black. Oh, and another thing. If you're gonna bluff, bluff with conviction. I thought you might need a sandwich, sir, as you missed most of lunch. That was superb, sir. But dangerous. You beat him. He can't bear to lose. Everybody loses sometimes, winners. He can't lose. Don't you understand? He's psychologically incapable of losing. If we are going to escape, it ought to be tomorrow morning. They pen the dog soon after seven. It has to be tomorrow. Has to be? Yes. Tonight it'll be Shemmy or Backgammon. But tomorrow it'll be poker, stud poker. He never loses at that. Well, maybe he hasn't had any stiff competition. <laughs> Tommy Vaughan. Tommy Vaughan? Did he play here? Come on, Winters, did he play here? Yes, sir. I must ask you to forget that I said anything. That was smart just now, any Smart. I enjoyed it. Well, if you enjoy losing $10,000, I can provide you pleasures for the rest of your life. No, it's not the money. It's the challenge. You're the nearest I've ever come to my style. Oh, I like to gamble, Eddie. Can't live without it. Roll of the dice, turn of a card. That attacks my adrenaline. That's when I know I'm alive. Almost lost that feeling, though. It was terrible. Like losing your lust for a pretty woman. Like being dead. It happened when I was 29. My father struck oil. Oh, up to then, the money was important, necessary. But suddenly, I had so much money. That's when gambling lost that tang. I was like a heavyweight champion who could never lose. A hunter in, impervious to the lion. A hunter who would run out of game to hunt. Nah, it's not the money. It's the challenge. Finding someone I can pit myself against. Someone good and cunning. Someone like me. Someone like Tommy Vaughn? Tommy Vaughn? Yeah, you mentioned him at lunch yesterday. Oh, yeah, 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 Tommy Vaughn. 
there were Olympics for stud poker, tell me you'd take the gold medal. No. I would. Ah, you've played against them then, huh? No, no, I haven't had the pleasure. But from what I hear, you wouldn't amount to much against me. Oh, I don't know about that. I know, Tommy. In fact, uh, I'd arrange a meeting for you, except that uh, he's dropped out of sight lately. No one's seen or heard of him in quite some time. Is yeah, that so? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, well, you arrange that meeting just as soon as he turns up again. How many? How many what, sir? How many are buried out there? Buried, sir? How many bodies? Three. And Tommy Vaughn's one of them, isn't he? Isn't he, witches? <laughs> if, if I doubt I've told you. You want to get out of here, don't you? That's going to be tomorrow morning when they bring the dogs in. Sound ferocious, don't they? I can assure you their bite is far worse than their bark. Card. Zack's the only one who can handle him. Even he doesn't take any chances. Sniff. <laughs> hmm. You're on a lucky streak, Eddie. That shammy is really my game. Mm hmm Take a break, shall we? More gamesmanship? You want to break up my game? Or my lucky streak, which? <laughs> Lousy fool. Confederate What's the matter, Winters? Something on your mind? No, I'm, I'm, I'm very sorry, madam. Well, let's play, shall we? Thousand dollars. Come on, come on. Yeah, make it an early night. 
You'll need all the sleep you can get, Eddie. Tomorrow night, we'll be playing my game. I'm going to the kitchen for a glass of milk. Good night. Good night. Sleep well. Where are we going? Through the front door. Front door? But Henry, have a look. I'll take care of Henry. Does that thing work? If it didn't, I wouldn't be here. Get down the hallway and wait for me, all right? You won't make it. Darling, where's your confidence in me? I bet you this bracelet against the thousand dollars you don't make. Whatever turns you on. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take my bath. A very long bath. Yeah, you do that, baby. Sorry, sir. I was offered a side bet you wouldn't make it. It must be worth at least $10,000. I'm a betting man, sir. I couldn't turn it down. I forgot the best piece of advice my shrink ever gave me. Never gamble on a woman. You're angry with me. Angry? Why should I be angry? 
All you did was stop me from getting out of here. You are angry. You know, Andy, I would have been sorry to lose you. The big game is tonight. You lose well, don't you? That's the first thing I said to you. You really know how to lose. Only I'm not so sure you know how to win. By the way, Eddie, Daddy Burns insists on formal wear for the big game. Does he now? Well, we won't disappoint Daddy Burns, will we? We dine first, and then the game starts, all right? Yeah, fine. I don't have any plans. Oh, Eddie, if you do win, I, um... Uh, please, don't overexcite me. I'm liable to lose my concentration. I hope you do win. I remember a play in Cairo. There was me, a Texan, and two sheiks. Mm. The limit was 20,000. I was holding a full house. Two queens and two aces showing, and an ace in the hole. I bluffed them all out, except the Texan. He had three fives and a jack. But as it turned out, he had that other five, four of a kind. Took me for two million dollars that night. Wow. <laughs> and I got my revenge. And my money back. A Couple of weeks later, he came and played me here. I took the pants off him. <laughs> <laughs> and now he's buried in the garden. What is this? It's awfully sweet. You think so, honey? Well, we change it. Tonight, we change everything. You haven't been too nice to me lately, honey. I don't like it when you're not too nice to me. You know that? I'd like you to be too nice to me. Well, maybe a big win will turn the trick, huh? 
Yeah. I mean, after all, uh, Ilsa loves a big winner, don't you? Hmm? She's gonna love me after tonight's game. Or me. <laughs> At least the odds are even. Even. Yep. Yeah, they're even. Well, I'm ready to play poker. How about you, mister? Trust me, then? Not particularly. Just so you don't question the house rules. Stud poker, cut deck, seven to eight, high or low. No limit. What do you think? I think for a poker player, you talk too much. Cut the deck. Cautious, aren't you, Eddie? So was Mithras. Mithras? Where does he play? Uh, Crete, around uh, 1200 BC. He was cautious too up front. Ended up taking the whole island. You're talking about war. That's right. Look at your whole card. I'm feeling lucky. What about you? Six hundred. Here's six hundred. And up a thousand. A thousand to you. Let's get some real action. Two thousand. Two thousand to you. You're two thousand. And up. Four thousand. Four thousand. Well, let's see what you're really made of. You're four thousand. And up ten thousand. Ten thousand to you. Getting a bit too rich for your blood, mister? No, this hand is just crying out to be played. You're ten thousand. And up. Twenty. Twenty thousand to see. See? <laughs> I don't want to see that garbage he's holding. Well, you're, uh, you're twenty thousand. And raise twenty thousand. Oh, you kill me, Burns. Here's 8,000. I'll give you my marker for the additional 12. We don't 12. Take markers here, Val. My bank will verify No it's markers. Good. But we'll consider kind. 
And what are you talking about? All I've got is my clothes and a watch that's You've probably worth... You've got something better than that, Valance. You've got you. Come on, Valens, you're a gambler. Not as good as me, maybe, but a gambler just the same. Now, how many times have you heard a gambler say, I'll stake my life on it? How many times have you said it? Hell, I must have said it a hundred times myself. But on three occasions, he meant it. You have said that. Sure, it's a figure of speech. Nobody actually means it. In this house, it isn't. Here, we mean it. I'll take the clothes and the watch. And you as collateral. <laughs> what am I worth? A million dollars. That's what you're worth to me. If you win, you walk away with the pot and a million. Hmm. And if I lose? Then it's your life or mine. Another little gamble we haven't told you about yet. But you still get a chance. That's right. It's an even money bet, Valance. What do you say? You run a hell of a game, Mr. Burns. The ultimate climax for somebody who has so much money he can never lose. <laughs> you got it, Valance. It's the only kick left. I like to win, Valance. I always do. But what's the thrill of winning without the chance of losing? You or me? What do you say? Twenty thousand and raise twenty. I'll raise a hundred thousand. A hundred thousand to see, that's a lot of money. Well, you can afford it. You're gambling with a million dollar stake now. And my life. A hundred thousand and raise a hundred thousand. In that case, I raise two hundred thousand. The suspense is killing me. I'll see you for the two hundred thousand. You'll be so cool with the next little game I've dreamed up. The final game. Two guns. Both are loaded. One with real bullets and one with blanks. We spin the table and you pick up the gun nearest you and fire. I said it was an even chance. It's better than even. Because you get first shot. That's right. And he takes the same chance as you do, the same risk. Those are the house rules, Valance. So simple, there can't be any question now, can there? Mm -hmm. I, uh, I like examining the deck before I play. This is going to be good. The others usually panic. Mm. Like Tommy Vaughn? Steel nerves at a poker table, but any hint of violence and Tommy broke up. Broke up? He cowered. Begged. I won't give you the same pleasure. No, I don't think you will.
I guess you won't beg. Go ahead, Wally. It's your turn to fire. Come on. It's your shot. Well, go on. You can still win. No, no, no. He won't pull the trigger. Then they'd know. They'd know that Daddy Burns, the world's greatest gambler, is a cheat. That's right. Both guns are loaded with blanks. The real ones are just tricked up to look real, but anybody that's familiar with guns can tell from the weight that they're just blanks. Blanks that make a nice big noise to cover Zack here when he shoots him from behind with this. It isn't true. It isn't true. Tell him it isn't true. Deny it. I'll show him. Show him. You. That's not all he cheats at. I've had you psyched out since our second game. Your life against mine, Burns? Come on. Your life against Tommy Vaughn's. Who are you? Eddie Valance, professional gambler. I'm also a patient man. Patience is a good virtue for gamblers to have. It's also good for detective. Detective? And you didn't pick me up, sweetheart. I've been on to you for weeks. That's right, I found you. I'll collect the fee from Vaughn's estate. But that doesn't matter. Tommy happened to be a damn good friend of mine. He played sweet stud, met his debts, and never cheated his entire life. You... Besides, you're running out of friends. Zack may be, but the others are seeing something in you they didn't know existed before. They'll do as I say. They'll kill you. Because the price on you still stands. One million dollars. I was gonna pass that up, eh? A million dollars. Why, they'll tear you limb from limb to get a piece of the action. I'm sorry, Mr. Burns, but you're too late. You, you don't think I played this game single-handed, do you? Without an ace in the hole? Hmm? Get your clown off me and I'll show you what I mean. All right. Everything that's been said here tonight has been overheard, recorded. Come on. After he produced that gun, we went through everything with a fine tooth comb. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. This is just some cheap plastic toy he's tricked up. This is no transmitter. Isn't it? You're bluffing. Well, then call me. A pickup car is less than a half a mile away. A direct line to the police. Now, nah, Burns. They're gonna put you away. This is one scene you're not gonna buy your way out of. They're gonna put you away behind bars because any minute now, the police are gonna come right. There we are. You are bluffing. Are you sure? I don't hear any sirens. Sirens? To tip you off? No, Burns, the police aren't going to do that. They're gonna surround your grounds break in and probably shoot you down without warning. You're bluffing. He's bluffing. I'm sure you're right, Mr. Burns, but if not, we don't have much time. I tell you, he's bluffing. I'm a gambling man. I always win. 
Only this time you'll have to play it straight without cheating. I tell you, he's bluffing. There's nobody out there. Nobody. All right. I'll prove it to you. Who's the birds? anymore. So you were bluffing. And you, my love, are an accessory to murder. You probably get at least 10 years. You think so? Me and an all-male jewelry. You want to bet?